Hi guys, it's Kate from Oakland. Hope everyone is well. Um, just about to show you around this property on Rumsfield Road in Broadstairs. So the property is three bedrooms, uh, semi-detached, comes with off-street parking. Uh, so we're just located on the Wimpy Estate, just on the outside. Um, so we're just down the road from um, a primary school um, and then that leads you through to Broadstairs. And then you're just across the road from St George's, Asda, and then you've got St George's Primary School. So as we go around the property, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop it in the question box. The property is being marketed at £1,325. There is a council tax band um, D, EPC rating of a D, and the deposit is £1,528. It is 785 square feet throughout and it is available in the next couple of weeks. Um, the landlord is currently in the process of doing some works in there so we'll explain that as we go round. So you do have a little front garden here and then you've got off street parking. You probably get about two small vehicles on there um, and then you've also got side access which takes you round to the garden. So we're going to head on in. Uh, someone's just asked in regards to uh, a guarantor so you would need a guarantor it'd have to be an individual guarantor we, we wouldn't accept any council guarantees it has to be an individual guarantor rather than a company so as you come in you've got the stairs in front of you and then to the left we're going to take you into the lounge so the lounge area is um, 13 by 12 currently being redecorated in here and you've got a beige carpet you do overlook the front of the property, completely double gazed, gas central heating as well. Lovely size. So just the lounge area is 13 by 12. And then you've got an opening taking you into the dining area. So in here, um, you've got two double plug socket points and then a single plug socket point in the corner. You also have your TV point, which is down to the tenant Um to put in is considered a luxury so the tenant's responsibility if you do want to put sky in the boiler is under the cupboard so it's a combi boiler and then you've got a little bit of storage space as well so all um you will be provided with a gas safety certificate an eicr which has been completed to an un at satisfactory level as well as all smoke alarms and co2 alarms will be tested and in working order so just around the corner, we're gonna to come to the dining area. So the dining area is 10 by eight. So it's a little bit narrower than the uh, lounge. And then you've got patio doors leading out to the conservatory. Um, so in here, you have two double plug, so two double plug socket points. And one of your smoke alarms is in here. And your thermostat is just above the light switch. So we're gonna go round into the kitchen next. So the kitchen measures in at 10 by seven. So all white goods would need to provide it. The only thing that does come with the property is the oven. So it's an electric oven with a gas hob. You've got seven double plug socket points in here. Lino flooring with cream cabinets and grey and sorry green and cream tile surrounds extractor fan above the oven and you have your spaces for your washing machine and your fridge freezer now just off of the kitchen and the dining area you've got this lovely space the conservatory so the conservatory measures in at 15 by 8 Towel flooring. Uh, there is a double plug socket point out here as well. And you've got two doors exiting out to the garden. So you've got double doors here, and then you've got your single door just over there. The inner conservatory is hot, but you do have lots of doors and windows in here, all double glazed. Oh, so you've got two double plug socket points. Sorry, I just noticed one up there. Handy to have for a kids' play area. Out into the garden now. 
the garden is grassed and paved, laid to pavement. It's a lovely side. It takes you around to the side of the property, which takes you to the front. It's a real sun-trapped garden. No shade at all. We're at two o'clock in the afternoon, so. Really lovely size. A couple of stoned areas up here and then currently standing on the paved bit. And then you've got the side gate, lake takes you back round. So current tenants have got the um, bins there, which you can wheel round to the front. So we're gonna go back through and take you upstairs. As I said guys, any questions, please don't hesitate to pop it in the question box. So the bedrooms um, are good sizes. You've got probably two doubles and a large single, and then you've got a modern family bathroom. So just gonna turn the camera around. So here's your landing. You've also got a window here, which lets in a lot of light. And then you've got a loft space just up here. So the family bathroom, three piece suite, modern, shower over the bath. And this is completely tiled from top to bottom. Waterfall shower. And then you've got your separate hand shower as well. P-shaped bath. And we're going to go into the second largest bedroom. Uh, so this one measures in at uh, 10 by 7. Overlooking the rear of the property. Good size double. I'm not too sure if the landlord's going to be decorating this room. I'll have to double check on that one. We've got beige carpets in here. And you've also got cupboard space. Just handy to have. Uh, in here, you've got two double plug socket points and a single plug socket point. You're going to go into the master bedroom now. So the master bedroom measures in at 15 by nine, so it's long. Overlooking the front of the property, double glazed windows to the front, gas central heating throughout. Uh, three double plugs, oh sorry, four double plug socket points in here. And you've also got your inbuilt wardrobe as well. Again, I'm not too sure what decorating is happening, whether this will remain the same. We will double check with landlord what rooms he's planning to decorate as he's just started off on the lounge. So inbuilt cupboard, inbuilt wardrobe, sliding doors with mirrors, built-in shelving and hand, um, handrails. So yeah, lovely size master bedroom. And then we're going to go into the third bedroom. So the third bedroom measures in at nine by nine. So this is white with grey carpets in here. Um, so it is a large single. You probably could get a double bed, but you wouldn't be able to fit anything else in here. Double glazed windows. Uh, you've got one double plug socket point and a single plug socket point. And then you've got an inbuilt wardrobe over the staircase. Overlooking the front of the property. So it is a large single. So before I head back round, um, if you are happy with what you have seen and you would like to place an application on the property and request a physical viewing, the number you need to call is 01843 22 700. That number again is 01843 22 700. 
The next step is all applications will be presented to the landlord. The landlord will then decide on who they're happy to have physical viewings with. We will book in that physical viewing just to confirm you're still happy to, happy to proceed, proceed after viewing it physically. If you are successful and are accepted, there would be a one week holding deposit to secure the property in order for us to begin references. So that number you need to call is 01843 22 700. I'm just going to quickly back round the property for anyone that missed anything. So we're just in the single bedroom at the front of the property. Double glazed gas central heating and you've got a double and a single plug socket point in here. Just behind the door, cupboard over the stairs with shelving. All offers will be presented to the landlord and it is the landlord's decision on who they proceed with. Just into the master bedroom with your built-in wardrobe. So you've got four double plug, double plug socket points in here. Single gla sorry, double glaze to the front and gas central heating. Lovely size master bedroom. To the second bedroom, which is again a good size double. And you've also got an inbuilt cupboard in here. You've got a double plug socket point and a single plug socket point in here. Sorry, two double plug socket points and a single. And you're overlooking the garden. Into the bathroom. So it's a family bathroom with a waterfall shower, tiled from top to bottom and lino flooring. You've also got your waterfall shower and your separate handheld shower unit. There is a towel rail just behind the door. Basin and toilet. Another window letting in some light in the hallway. And then you've also got a loft available. So we're gonna head downstairs. Through the lounge into the dining area. So this room's currently being redecorated as you can see. Really light and airy, double glazed, gas central heating. You've got a combi boiler just in this cupboard here. Overlooking the front. Round to the dining room that you've got patio doors leading out to the conservatory. takes you through to the kitchen so all white goods would need to be provided uh, gas hob and electric oven would come with the kitchen another window so lots of light coming into this property and that takes you round into the conservatory garden is a complete sand trap grassed paved and then you've got access to the front via the side. Two o'clock in the afternoon and you've still got lots of sun. We're gonna head back to the front of the property, through the kitchen, dining room, lounge, so we're on Rumsfield Road, currently on the market at £1,323. It's a council tax band D, EPC rating of a D, and the deposit is £1,528. So as I said, if you would like to apply, now's the time to give the office a call. That number is 01843 700. So we're just located on Rumsfield Road, close to Bromstone Primary School. Asda and St George's Secondary and Primary School. You do have off street parking as well. Probably say you get two vehicles on here, but then you've got plenty of on street parking as well. So unless anyone has any further questions, I'll be ending the live stream shortly. That number again is 01843 72 700.
hope everyone has a fantastic weekend i will be uploading this video to watch shortly to youtube if you do want to watch it again please follow us oakwood homes and you'll be able to see all of our live streams have a lovely weekend everyone and we'll catch up soon take care